Hi guys, this is Gregor from Personas and today we want to look at the transform tool which is a pretty old feature in Studio One but not everybody's aware of it so take a look, it's awesome. So the transform tool has been around in Studio One since like forever but still a lot of people aren't really aware of it and because there hasn't been any video covering the transform tool in years I thought it's probably a good idea to refresh everybody's memory on it and of course introduce our recent converts to Studio One to the amazing powers of the transform tool. So the first example that I have for you guys is the Mai Tai and this is a virtual instrument that comes with any version of Studio One and I have a little baseline prepared here that I would like to use for the very beginning of my song. Okay, that already sounds pretty nice but it's kind of stale, right? Because the cutoff of that filter doesn't really open up, everything plays at the same intensity and um, it's also playing a repetitive pattern even though it's being transposed. So it needs a bit of movement to keep the listener's attention. So the transform tool is really a perfect opportunity for us to do a lot of complex modulation that would take us way longer to do by hand. Let me show you. So you find the transform tool when you click on the paint tool here and then click once again to open up that drop down menu and then you're going to find the transform tool at the very bottom of this list. So once that's selected, you're going to find our familiar crosshair and now you can make a range selection and that can be transformed to your very liking. You can also use a keyboard shortcut. In that case, you just make your selection of events and you hit Option and T on a Mac or Alt and T on a Windows PC. All right, now let's look at what we can do with this. Okay, so first of all, let's select our range and lower the velocity of all these notes a bit. And now I can skew this automation up like so. What's really nice is that I can also skew it from the other side or from this side to make it a bit more exponential. And I can really quickly make this work exactly the way I want to. Okay, that's already pretty cool, but we could do that with the um, regular paint tool also. So let's check out something that we couldn't do this easily and where the transform tool really helps us to get a complex modulation going in no time. So let's open up the Mai Tai and let's look for a parameter that we could automate here um, to make it a bit more interesting. Oh yeah, let's go for the decay here. Something like that and it um, intensifies over time. So uh, I don't want to do that every time with my mouse when I'm playing back, of course. So I can just right click this parameter here and choose Edit Automation Decay. Once I've done that, I can choose the Transform tool up here to start messing with this range. But before I do that, let me actually um, check out some of the other waveforms that we have available. For example, the sine wave here. It's going to zoom out a bit, draw a little shape here, like so. Just drag it along with your mouse. Has the following effect on the decay. Watch this. It's already quite nice, but I would like that to be a little bit slower and then ramp up over time. So that's where the transform tool comes in. Now I'm going to do it from a hotkey, just make my range selection and hit Option and T. And now I can stretch the automation to make it a bit slower. I'm just going to delete that part that I don't need over here. Do Option and T once more. And now I can skew it down, skew it up. I can also resize it if I don't want these changes to be so drastic. I could even invert the uh, automation if I was so inclined. It's really awesome. Yeah, already given a lot more life to this automation. Awesome. Let me show you one more. So in this example, I have a sample of a pretty dynamic vocal and I would like to just make the gain a bit more even before hitting my compressor. Um, the idea is that I want a more even gain reduction, not like minus 10 when I'm hitting the peak over here and then almost no compression at the very beginning. I want that to be um, a bit more constant. So the idea is that I have a mix tool here before going into the fat channel 
and I would like to automate this gain parameter. So if I wanted to do these changes like very carefully, like in the amounts that are actually required, this would take me quite a bit of time. And this is where the transform tool comes in as a really handy helper. So with the transform tool, I can just go in and make some really broad strokes like so. I just drag along the bottom end of the wave basically, draw the shape of it like I'm Bob Ross or something. <laughs> Happy little waveforms. All right, almost done with that. And these strokes would obviously be way too drastic if I left them this way. But thanks to the transform tool, now I can just select all of these, hit option and T, and then just compress it down to some very minor changes. If I just gonna render this down really quickly by hitting um, mix down selection, I'm gonna get a stereo file back, but that's no problem. Let's make it back to mono. You can really see that this is a lot less dynamic than this one. Let's make this one red so you can see it a bit more clearly. Make this one green, like so. Right, there you can clearly see that this would be working way better with a compressor. All right, so that's just two examples. You can do obviously so much more with the transform tool. Try it out for yourself. It's definitely a studio one oldie, but a goldie.